Hello everybody and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Immy and today's video is a homeware haul, mainly Ikea, but if you are subscribed to me you'll know that these are my my thing, my jam, you know, and I haven't done one in a while. I've done a lot of like beauty stuff recently, which is, you know, ironic. <laughs> but I'm back because I am less than a week away from moving. I feel like this has been coming for such a long time now. I've been talking about moving since last like October or September or something because that is when I found out that I was going to live in Liverpool. But I have some news and I'm going to do a whole video on that and moving vlogs and everything. It's going to be so exciting. But for today, I'm just doing my very last IKEA haul before I move in. There'll be another one once I've moved in buying like bigger stuff because I don't actually know what I want until I live there. So I've just got some some cute stuff, you know. I'm going to say I did buy things from two other shops. I actually went to Argos ironically because uh, I never go there. I haven't been to Argos since I was like seven. And also TK Maxx. I just popped in there and I accidentally picked up. I only paid for four things, which is quite good for me. But one of them I'm not going to show you because it is like autumn themed. So I'm going to do a whole autumn video when it's closer to that. Maybe when it's actually September so I don't look crazy. I'm going to show you the first things that I picked up from TK Maxx. And they're just really simple things. Some just like decor because I'm going to have shelves. And I need more lighting and stuff. So I got some picture frames. And these are like really cute natural wooden ones. Um, they're both 6 99 this one looks more like realistic and it's quite like kind of what you'd see in your grandma's place but I feel like paired with that it can look kind of like retro-y because this has got this um, double thing. This is apparently £20.99 RRP but it's £6.99. I don't know if I believe that but I really like it anyway. I think it's super cute and we don't have any picture frames. We have like a lot of photo, like frames for like prints and stuff but not actual photos of us. So I want to get some photos of my boyfriend and my friends and stuff in those. The last thing I'm actually going to show you that I picked up from TK Maxx is a lamp because like I said we need more lighting because every every room of our like, well, flat has like just wall mounted lights. They haven't got any like hanging ones so you don't really want to use the wall mounted ones. They're not that bright. They're more like evening kind of lights and it is not it is a light place but it's not that light. So I wanted to get some more like atmospheric things. And I picked up this, I think it's called Terrazzo or Terrazzo or something. Um, it's effect, so it's like kind of like con pink concrete with bits of stone flex in it, and then there's space for a bulb. I'm gonna get like a big globe one because um, oh, it also has like this black and white cable, which is really cute. But basically, I want to get a big bulb because they actually sell such similar ones to these on Urban Outfitters, and they were selling them for ninety pounds. Like, can you believe that ninety pounds? They're now reduced to fifty because obviously no one's flipping buying them. Who would? But they also have very similar ones on Made, which is a really great homeware store. I absolutely swear by them. I, but I think they're twenty pounds on there. But this only cost me nine ninety nine. It's so cute. I'm really happy with it. And my mum also got one too because there was a few there. So I said I also picked something up from Argos, and I did. But I can't exactly show you because it was a clothing rail. So I will try and insert a picture of it here. And um, that cost me. £34.99. It's called Close Rail with Wood Effect Shelf because it's got like the wooden shelf above. I liked that I actually go went to IKEA with the intention of buying one from there. I actually wanted two, but they have one in stock. But they were all very flimsy. Like my mum was with me and she was like, you can't, like they'll literally fall down after a week. So finally I'm on to IKEA again. I got some big thing. I didn't really get I didn't feel like I got a lot. So the first thing I'm going to show you is actually one of my favourites and it is a rug and I am going to have a hard time showing you this. I'll show up half of it and probably kind of guess what it looks like. It is a cow, like a cow hide rug. It's even got like the um, kind of shape on it but it is faux. This is actually only £30. The real ones retail for 180 at IKEA but you can also get them for about 150 at DK Maxx. I like the real ones, I won't lie, but because me and my boyfriend are both vegetarian, we didn't feel like, because everything we have which is real cowhide or real leather or something is either something we've just got, been given or gifted for free, so we didn't really want to spend like that much money on real cow and walk on it every day when we don't eat it, it just seemed a bit wrong. So we went for the fake one and actually, I mean it doesn't look as good, I'm not going to lie, but it is so incredibly soft. 
I put it on my kitchen floor yesterday just to like show him and I didn't I was just like lying on it. It is so comfy, so yeah, really happy with that one. I then got this little black lantern. This was seven pounds. That's kind of reason I wanted some of the big ones, like I want the big silver ones. So they're kind of like floor length. I think they're just a really cute to put like um, pillar candles in and things, but they're so expensive. They have some gorgeous ones at House of Fraser and they were on sale a while ago and I wish I bought them because now they're like 80 quid again, which is a pain, but I'm just picking up this for now and this is so cute and it just, I just like it, you know. I then went and bought some faux eucalyptus um, foliage. These were, I think, were 250 each for a branch, which again, I don't spend all my time on Urban Outfitters, but I spend a lot of it on there. These go for six pounds in Urban Outfitters for one of them, so get yourself down to Ikea. I wanted to just put these in like a little vase or something just for display because I do have a lot of plants, but I am also very good at killing them. So, before I show you this next item, if you like cinnamon and cakey vanilla smells, you have to get these and they are the Sin Lig, I think it's how you pronounce it, um, tea lights. They have them in like big candle form as well. And it looks like a little picture of like pecan cake, but they just smell like cinnamon. And vanilla -y goodness, oh, they're so good. And these are only 150 and there's 30 in there. What I do is I have a wax, um, like a wax burner, melter thingy, and I pop those underneath. So it's like the smell of the wax and the smell of these. And it's so good. I get through them very quickly. So this is a little bit of a random one, but, um, I just saw it and realised how much I wanted it. So I got a little bottle of elderflower. I lifted that really high then. I got a little bottle of elderflower and this is just 500ml. It's just the concentrate because I love elderflower, but it's really expensive. And yeah, this was 270 which I wouldn't say is a lot, but it's also not much. But I think that's a good price. I think it's a good price thinking about because I'm thinking about how much it would be at like Asda or something. One of the main things I actually went to Ikea for was that I wanted to collect a lot of like mason type jars um like the kilner jars but i didn't want any you know they have normally have like the uh debossing on them which is like the writing on the outside and they also have like an orange seal i just wanted really plain ones so i could label them myself and i also didn't like the orange that much it kind of doesn't just suit my aesthetic so i picked up a load of the ikea ones because they're completely plain and i got four different sizes so i'll show you these now i got a bit excited and put spaghetti in this one already though so this is a two litre one, I'm pretty sure, and this was three pounds, like I said, I've got spaghetti in it. Um, and I only picked up the one of these. And then these are the 1.8 litre ones, and I picked up six of these, and these were 250 each. This is just like a good size, I think, for everything, for like pasta and flour and rice and all that stuff. And then these are the one litre ones, and these are, I think they're 175, I think they're a little cheaper. And then I got two of these little sets of three. Um, they come, they're like this, and I thought I can even use them for the small things like garlic and like pine nuts and chia seeds and things like that. Or I can use some spices depending how I like them and how many I need. This next item is actually a little bit pricey, but I'm really happy with it. And I'm glad that I bought it. I was a bit unsure whilst I was at IKEA, but I'm glad I got it now. And this is this wicker basket with this grey, like, wire trim thing going all the way through it and it creates a cool effect the reason i like this is because it's so sturdy like all the other boxes i've got are like a little flimsy like they're always fabricy or they're too soft and this is really good especially i think i'm going to put this in my bathroom and have like um either just products in it or like loo rolls or something i think would just look really nice and this was 15 pounds so it was a lot of money but i'm actually happy i got it in the end onto my last few items and this is a kind of big one um and i don't know why i like it so much i just think it's so cute and it is this bin <laughs> that sounds so lame um it's like a white metal bin and it has this little handles on it and it also has a hook on the inside which you can hook onto your bin okay no one else is impressed um and how do i try and shoot this can you see it it has a handle on each side and this embossing like all over it to make it look like very traditional and that was at 15 pounds they also have smaller ones but i wanted the bigger one because i actually have towels in it like i said i bought towels from ikea 
I actually wasn't going to do this, I was going to get them from like House Froze or something, but we are literally so close to moving, I just can't see me having time to get any soon, so I just grabbed a load of towels, I grabbed some of the white ones, and then these are two hand towels, and I got some of these dark grey ones, because these were the softest ones they have, I got them in a range of sizes, and I got them all discounted because I have a family card, okay, <laughs> so the hand towels were £3 down to £2.10, and then the bath sheets were eight pounds down to four pounds eighty, and then the bath towels are five pounds down to three pounds. If you aren't an adult or don't adult, you won't understand this because I literally didn't know the difference between a bath sheet and a bath towel before this, but now I do, and that's the sad thing about growing up. I did get one last item from IKEA that I do want to mention, and it was a standing lamp. Again, I will insert picture here, but I didn't want to show it because it's really heavy. So it is called the, I'm not going to run up, run, run up, I think, floor lamp. And I got the gold and brass one and that was £50 as well. Again, I said I need more standing lamps. So I also got that, um, but it's so heavy. The, the base for it is unbelievably heavy. So I wasn't going to put it up just for this. That is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed me getting back to my roots with an IKEA haul. I absolutely love buying homeware stuff. But remember, don't move out until you have to because it is expensive. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and also subscribe to me if you haven't done so yet. It would be incredible. I love you all so much and I will see you next time. Bye.